summer evenings just big to be enjoyed outdoors, so why not move dinner to the garden? Here's a menu to match the mood of the season and the occasion. Summer blesses us with long hot days and cooler evenings, which give us the perfect opportunity to dine under the night skies. On my summer menu today, I'll be preparing sweet potato filo pastries with feta cheese, murg makani or butter chicken, and for dessert, a triple layer passion fruit cake. I'm starting out with the murg makani or butter chicken, and for the sauce, tomato going into the pot, Overripe tomatoes work best for this recipe and I've chopped them up. Now to that the whole spices. We've got a bay leaf, cinnamon sticks and four cardamom pods. And now ginger and garlic paste. And then add a cup of water. Turn up the heat and bring the sauce up to the boil. And while that's simmering, let's marinate the chicken. So here we have some chicken thighs, and to that I'm adding some ginger and garlic paste, chickpea flour, some lemon juice, fresh cream, and half a teaspoon of freshly ground cardamom. And now some red chili powder, two teaspoons, ground coriander, one teaspoon, garam masala, half a teaspoon, and turmeric, also half a teaspoon. Stir those ingredients through and coat the chicken thighs in the marinade. And I'm using deboned chicken thighs for this. And now salt. While that's being left to marinade, let's have a look at the sauce. The Murg Makani or butter chicken sauce should be really smooth and lamb free. And now the simmered tomatoes, I'm going to pour them into a sieve. Use a wooden spoon and press the tomato through, just stirring it lightly as well to get it through the sieve. It almost looks like tomato soup. Now pour the sauce back into the pan. Back on the heat. The sauce already looks quite silky and smooth. To this we add some cashew paste. This is raw cashew nuts, unsalted, soaked in boiled water and then liquidized until fine. And for the spices, two teaspoons of red chili powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of ground coriander and stir the spices in. Season the sauce with some salt and a teaspoon of coarse salt and then green chilies. Two green chilies sliced in half. The sauce is thickened, it's ready and now let's get on with the chicken. In goes some sunflower oil. I'm using Thai fillets for this recipe and they do cook quite quickly. And now pour in the sauce. Scrape the pan to release the spices that are stuck to the base. Time for the final ingredients. We've got kasuri methi, about two teaspoons, and this is dried fenugreek leaves, a sprinkling of sugar, butter, and fresh cream. That's our buttered chicken done. For the sweet potato and feta filo pastry, I've got some boiled sweet potato here, and to that, Add some fresh coriander. I love using lots of fresh coriander for flavor in this. Now season with salt, chopped red chili, some cumin seeds, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, chili flakes, two teaspoons, chopped garlic, and then the feta going in. Now let's get the filo pastry ready. And I'm just using store-bought filo for this. Melted butter going on top. Another layer going on top. We're going to be using about five layers for this. Now place the filling in the center of the pastry. Fold the edges over. 
and enclose the pastry by folding the pastry over and then just flip it over. Brush this with melted butter and to finish up the phyllo, sprinkle some sesame seeds over. This goes into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes until the pastry is light golden brown. A passion fruit cake is perfect for summer and this is a super light sponge that's quite easy to make. The first ingredient going into the mixing bowl, eggs, I've got five eggs here. And whisk the eggs until they're light and fluffy. Gradually add sugar. I've got self-raising flour here. I've sifted this five times to ensure the cake is super light. Use a metal spoon to fold the flour into the eggy mixture. Reach all the way to the bottom of the bowl. I'm flavoring the batter with some vanilla paste. And now melted butter going in. And then passion fruit pulp. I love these black speckles in the cake batter. Swirl the melted butter and the pulp into the batter. I've greased and lined three cake tins. They're 20 centimeter cake tins or eight inch cake tins. And I've lined this with baking paper. Let's divide this. Swirl the batter around to make sure it's even. These go into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. I've baked the cakes off for 12 to 15 minutes and I've let them cool down. And there you have those lovely passion fruit seeds at the bottom of the cake. First layer going onto a cake stand. Now I've got some cream cheese frosting going on top. You could also use whipped cream for this recipe if you prefer and just spread that over. This is a really soft sponge so just be careful when you are working with it. More frosting going on top. And now the last layer. And to garnish the cake, I've got some passion fruit pulp. Use the spatula just to spread that over. There we have it, that's our passion fruit cake done. This is perfect for a summery dinner party. To start with, we've got the sweet potato and feta filo pastries. For the main course, murk makani of butter chicken. And for dessert, a passion fruit cake with cream cheese frosting. I hope you enjoy your dinner party. Oh,